One example is Kahoot. During some lectures, we used it and um, they used it to test our knowledge. It was most of the time is what was at the end of the uh, of the course and um, the exams were coming up and uh, they would just use it to see how much we already knew and how much we could still yeah, learn or where the difficult points were. So I really liked that because it was also a reflection for myself to see how, how much I already knew and on which points I still had to work on some more to, yeah, to get a good grade for my test. Some of the times we used quizzes or you could just uh, get a sheet of paper yourself or from the teacher and he would just ask questions and you could write down your answer and afterwards we would discuss it. I also really like that because it's an interactive way, which for me, it's a really good way to, um, to remember the things that, uh, that I was taught. Uh, I had a quiz in uh, image analysis where we uh, had to use uh, yeah, for bonus points. I like the quizzes on the, on the mobile phone. Also in the stats we had it, I think. And it just makes you think about how to interpret uh, questions and how to look at it. And yeah, because you always get it on the exam in the same form. There's completely no, with us at least, there's no any form. There's no form of technology in them. It's only all paper, it's on paper. Um, I would wish there was a bit more involvement with the computer. It's really inefficient. If you would integrate technology to it, it would be a lot faster. It's currently the pop quizzes and the voting of things just takes a huge portion of the time. Because if the teacher has to hand out like a class of 150 people, he has to hand out papers. And using a website would make it instant. No, I don't have any experience in uh, that kind of quizzes or digital. Uh... Uh, testing. I think that uh, they could be good to have some uh, uh, interactive uh, interaction in class and I think it's also useful in order to, um, to, to have a vision about something.